All right, let's go grab some of our lettuces. I feel like this is a good one today for salad. You into this, Julius? You want that one or you want romaine? We got romaine here too. You want romaine? All right, we're going romaine. We got some romaine lettuce here. That's, I feel like, yeah. This is good for, for the three of us, all right? Two heads of romaine, fire. Perfect. We could get this upstairs, we're good. All right, the lettuce grow. This shit is fire. <clears throat> Babe, look, we got romaine. Whoa. All right, straight from the lettuce grow to the kitchen. We are not sponsored by lettuce grow. We would love, we would like to be sponsored by lettuce grow, but this is just actually a product we use. get to this lettuce in a little bit first this is our first separate bedrooms cooking segment I'm gonna make you a dish that I make Natasha a lot at home it is black pepper steak and this is like a dish you get a lot in Hong Kong like cafes coffee shops there's also a place called pepper lunch that i really fuck with i eat it in like asia and then they have one in alhambra and they have one in like orange county pepper lunch does like a shabu style in a cast iron skillet almost like a cantonese or a chinese fajita it's very good but today we are going to do this with three giant prime ribeye steaks gonna be nice babe do you know where the toe oh, here here they are all right perfect tongs. Yes. all right so I like to use a cast iron skillet for this cast iron is great for cooking steak we're gonna cook the steak then with the juices we're gonna make the sauce and if you don't like steak get the fuck out but no really like if you don't like steak you could do this with chicken you could do this with duck um do this with lamb absolutely i do i do it with tomahawk pork chops sometimes but my favorite is a ribeye steak even more than a new york strip steak ribeye just the marbling's phenomenal and it's not really sacrilege to cook it and then cut it into chunks and then smother it over rice with black pepper sauce then an accompaniment to it is we're gonna do a little like shabu style salad dressing that I'll show you a little bit later but I like to do like a little shabu style salad with the black pepper steak here we go the first ever recipe <laughs> on separate bedrooms <laughs> so. these are each about 16 ounce ribeye steaks, all right? So I took three 16 ounce ribeye steaks. You can take this recipe and divide it by three or multiply it for how many you wanna make. But I'm gonna do three today, and this is an amount for three in this cast iron skillet. Now usually I'd be using my Great Jones pans. I like my Great Jones pans. I actually like my R Place joint but for frying up steak and broiling in the oven, I really like to use a cast iron. And they did not send me a cast iron, so I'm using Lodge, Lodge cast iron. That is how it's going down in here. 
<laughs> this piece of steak didn't get as much love. The pepper isn't like that important in this phase because we're gonna like add so much pepper. But right now what's going on, we have three 16 ounce ribeye steaks in here. Um, you could use choice, you could use prime, whatever. Like it's gonna be smothered in sauce. Choice is fine if you wanna save a couple bucks. Get the family pack at Costco. Um, I think a big part of this show is I'm not going to make restaurant food. What I'm making is food that I cook for Natasha myself. And I'll even tell you like the products I use and like how I save money. Because this is like you want it to be, uh, what, what's that? Not realistic, but practical, practical. A practical this is inflation. Cooking show. This is inflation-proof cooking. Inflation-proof cooking. Cooking in a recession. Yeah, this is like working man's cooking show. This is also pregnant woman's bizarre cravings. Exactly, exactly. Should we show them the bizarro pregnant woman? I'm just writing down the recipe. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I like a medium rare steak. Uh, my steaks are always somewhere between actually rare and medium rare. On this one, uh, I'm going to get it closer to the medium rare side, let it rest, cut it open, bring it back into the sauce. So by the time it's served, I think it'll be about medium, but I, I want to nail it around medium rare when I let it rest. To do that, I cook it about 60% on this side in the skillet down. And then 40% I'm going to finish in the broiler. I don't like to give like the perfect exact minutes because every pan is different, every steak is different. I would say, depending on the temperature that you like your steak, mid-rare, medium, medium well, cook it on this side in the cast iron for 60% of that process, finish 40 in the broiler. Julius finessing some phenomenal shots. Phenomenal shots as we watch this cook. Should we show them all the lineup of ingredients while they wait? I could also I could also be chopping lettuces. I use the Chinese cleaver for everything. Unless someone wants to sponsor me and send me some like French knife, chef's knives. I will use them. I will, I will use a Japanese knife, but for now, I use the Chinese cleaver. This thing does anything. So this is nice lettuce. Okay, have you been liking the lettuce grow? I love the lettuce grow. It's amazing. Like you set it and forget it. Like you could pick any vegetable you want to grow that they have seeds for. You set the timer and it waters itself. It takes care of itself. It's, it's really amazing. Like it's better at taking care of itself than a human is. But I feel like it grows fast too. Super fast. Okay. And the mic is in the tree. But yeah, no, I, I love this lettuce grow. It like optimizes how to grow itself. Yeah. We would love to be sponsored by Lettuce Grow as well. <laughs> Just like to remind everybody, sponsor us, buy ads, whatever, you know. Julius is using a Panasonic DVX100A for cutaways right now. He loves Panasonic. Would love to be sponsored. All right.
So, steaks are looking pretty good. All right. I, I want a little bit more time. I actually really like a hard crust on a thick steak like this. So I'm gonna give it another probably minute. Gonna have these. These are both gonna have a nice hard crust, but a medium rare center. So very excited for this big thick steaks. This skillet gets very hot. And with three steaks, it's a two-hander. So I have the power of love. <laughs> All right. Steaks are going in. So I raised my rack to the highest level you can go that that cast iron still fits in. Put it on the highest broil setting and we're gonna let it rock in there for probably like eight minutes. I would say eight to 10 minutes. We'll chill out. Um, I'm gonna turn the vent off now. So yeah, basically I put the rack up there to the highest it can go. Uh, set the broil on high, eight to 10 minutes. Then when it comes out, I'll lift out the steaks, let them rest, and then um, we will use the same pan with all the beef drippings and make the black pepper sauce. Mm. Yup. In the meantime, I could do this salad, right? I could do this fucking salad for y'all. Uh, I'm gonna call this the shabu salad. I make this one a lot. You may even see this on the show multiple times. Garlic, all right? I like to get this garlic paste. It has a good flavor. You can like be all chefy and do this yourself, but honestly, it's more pungent when you buy like the store-bought garlic paste. I'll do a little more garlic paste. It's getting smoky with the broiler. Then I like to use this Mizkan Goma Shabu sesame sauce. All right. measuring cup to help Natasha out with this, right? Wow, so, we're measuring today, guys. We're going to measure this some shit. This is crazy. This doesn't happen, this like, doesn't ever. Happen, at ever. all. It's just he will throw stuff in a bowl, and he's like, I made the salad. I'm like, how? He's like, don't worry about it. I'm trying to be responsible now. <laughs> Damn, it's getting smoky in here with this broiler. I know, I'm squinting. Oof. I'm having, my eyes are, do you want me to open the thing? Uh, Yeah, we'll, we'll open this. It's all good. I'll do the thing. Sorry about that, Julius. The oven always be smoking when it's like this high. It looks pretty. Yeah, we have a smoke machine. Yeah, we're getting spooky. Oof. Spooky on set. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of the Goma Shabu sauce. All right, quarter cup. And then I will do also a quarter cup of ponzu. Oof. Fucking shit, man. Super smoky. Whisk it up. If you want to put a lemon in, you can. This dish is good with lemon, but I actually am going to add Just a dash. Oh my God. 
of this orange juice. It is so smoky. A dash of OJ. Okay, whisking it up. There's your salad dressing. Easy. Oof. We need a new oven for this cooking show. <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> they need to sponsor us with a new oven. <laughs> General Electric. Oh my god. But this oven, oven does this every fucking time. I know. It's kind of the worst. You feel like you're like walking through a dust storm. Like I'll like walk up here and I'm like, Oof. are you cooking? And yeah. But I'm Literally also just like dust bowl. a complainer. All right, the salad is ready. We put it in a big presentation bowl. Yeah, far right. Oh. All right. You'll be like, yo, simple salad. Why don't you have onions? Why don't you have anything else in this? The strategy here is it's like when you go to a sushi restaurant, you get just like a really simple salad. It's vinegary. It kind of opens up the palate. That's all yeah. we're looking to do here, right? I don't want the salad to be too complicated or overpower what we're doing because the pepper steak is such a big, rich dish. So this is a simple salad to go with it. It's big and it's rich. Yup. Has it been about eight minutes? I feel like it's like been a. I think it's been about eight minutes. Yeah, since it went in there. That shit is good. You want some sunglasses? Oh my god. Or like... I need them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah. All right. Amazing. And I'll give you this shot now, Julius. Look at the bottom. Oh, beautiful steaks. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna let them finish sizzling. Ooh. Damn. The food's too fire, bro. The food's too fire. Set off the smoke alarm in the first episode. Legendary. What other cooking show you know set off the fire alarm in the first episode? I don't know. I don't know. Amazing. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, babe. That was pretty wild. The whole house got smoked up. I gotta get the oven oven checked out. The oven is going crazy. Cause nothing in here is burnt. It's the oven, man. It's the oven. 
Are you okay? I'm good. I'm sorry, it's all smoky. No, it's it's nice. It smells incredible, so. Amazing. All right. So do you okay. let it rest? I'll let it rest. Let these steaks rest. Turn the heat on. Boom, steaks are resting. We are cooking first in onions. This is one whole onion chopped. Let the onions get like a minute head start. And after that minute, I come with the bell peppers. This is a half green bell pepper and a half red bell pepper. I think the onions got enough head start. So there they go. Sorry the smoke alarm woke you up, Ev. <laughs> so I don't need the onions and the bell peppers like caramelized. Like sometimes I would get onions like sweaty and golden, but here, I just want them to be cooked through translucent and nice. Smells good, right? The next thing I do is, this is not traditional in black pepper steak sauce, but I like to use mild banana peppers with some juice. I flip them in there. They're going to give it a nice flavor. I would say that I put two ounces of mild banana peppers in, babe. Okay. With about an, a two ounces of liquid as well. It's a nice profile. And you can up the amount of banana peppers if you want. Actually, I, I'm gonna up the amount of banana peppers. Actually, I'm not because I don't have any more left. <laughs> no, I think we do. We do? We got some over here, babe? <laughs> Look in the it Italian section of the pantry. Uh-huh. There might be. There might not be also, but... Oh, you're right. We have them. She was right. We had them in the Italian section of the pantry. We keep our pantry by section. Yup. We go by race. We have Italian, Middle Eastern, Japanese, okay. Chinese. So I'd say all in we did now. This is three and a half ounces and three ounces of liquid all in long chopsticks come in handy all right this is really good right now how are you feeling about this sauce julius strong strong and very strong Julius is nodding his head. Julius is a silent man. Aggressively. He's so excited. He looks like he's at a concert. He's head banging. All right. This is bullhead shallot sauce. 
I use this a lot when making like hot pot sauce and stuff, Taiwanese brand. We're gonna go here about three ounces of shallot sauce, just like that. Then, I'm gonna do like a few dashes of Worcestershire. One, two, three, four, five, six dashes of Worcestershire. Sorry, I don't measure because it fucks up the flow. You have no flow if you're measuring. I need, I need flow. All right. Two ounces of crushed garlic. And as you can tell, I just keep saying two or three. Uh, it works, it works. Tamari, all right? We use this wonderful Momofuku Tamari that David sent us, all right? I'm gonna do three dashes of Tamari. Oh wait, that's one, two, three, we we'll do five dashes of tamari, all right? Five. We're gonna mix this mixture up here. Okay, now it's smelling incredible. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is when it really starts to come together. Yeah, this is the moment I was like, okay, yes. Yes. This is what we're about to eat. The shallot sauce really is what I think sets this off. For and sure. it's not a traditional ingredient in people's black pepper sauce. This is completely weirdo shit. What made you be like, I'm gonna put the shallot sauce in? Cause I feel like shallot sauce in a way gives you funkiness like fish sauce mm. without totally like taking the dish off a different exit. It gives yeah. you like more base. Yeah. Cause like fried shallots minced, it's like meaty. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Two ounces of Taiwanese rice wine, all right? It just gives it a nice little nip, like a nippiness to the dish, don't you, Julius? A little rice wine nippiness. Now, whole lot of black pepper. Uh, I don't know measurement, but I'm just gonna like dust it up. It feels like a whole tablespoon of black pepper. That's what it feels like. A tablespoon of black pepper. Get it peppery. Very peppery. Now, I'm gonna turn off my heat. Agave. That's about a tablespoon of agave. Now, I will say many squirts of ketchup. One big squirt of ketchup, two big squirts of ketchup, three big squirts of ketchup. That's why I turned the heat off, because I don't wanna to burn. Ketchup got a lot of sugar. I'm gonna add just a little bit more black pepper just because I had a vibe with needs more black pepper. Mix this up with your heat off. Black pepper steak sauce. Baby. All done. Talk to me, Julius. How are you feeling, dog? How are you feeling? Yeah, that's it. You're excited. Excitement is cool. Scrumptious, right? Looks How excited would you say you are on a scale of one to ten? Yeah, what's the excitement level? Oh, 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 I like that. Oh. I'll get my spoon back here and taste it to make sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. Evan woke up in time to eat, huh? All right. Here You're we going go. going to class? Bye, Ev. Later, Ev. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Perfect. See, look at our steak. Beautiful on the inside, perfectly medium rare. Steak going in. And uh, I take it for granted, but in case you haven't cut up a ribeye before, I like to take the ribeye lip off, cut it in a chunk separately, and then kind of like cut the middle of it like a New York strip. And my favorite part of the ribeye is the lip. in there get warm we're ready to eat guys there's your dish black pepper steak and so what do you do do you put it over rice or you serve Beautiful. rice on the side i'm gonna get us all some rice here we got a whole bucket of rice everybody gets a plate you know what we should we should treat julius Get the Hermes. To the Hermes place. Get the Hermes we, should, we should get you the Hermes set up, all right? Bang. The caveat Look at that chinois platter, is, Julius. You can only serve it on Hermes. Must. Must eat on Hermes. So, we're eating brown rice in this house. I actually like the flavor. And it's uh, better for you. Really, the joy of this is eating it on a giant mound of rice. Julius, you like lip or you like the center of the ribeye? Both, both, both. More rare or more? Yeah, I like these rare joints here. Oh, look at that. Some lip pieces right on top. There you go, my guy. Black pepper steak. Look at that. Black pepper steak. Bang. I'll give you some salad, too. Oh, sick. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. These are our parrot plates. That's our episode. Should we get a shot of the, men the recipe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She got you. This is the most confusing recipe of all time, just to make it a little bit harder for you guys. Black pepper steak, shabu salad. It's a bit of a, what do you call this? When you go on a scavenger hunt for the recipe, you don't know where you're going, but it's fun. And it's personalized for you. We love you.
Here, babe. Here's your cutie plate. I gave you all the lean pieces because you like it. This is this one is beautiful. Look at this. Stunning. Look at this plate. Bango. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. So excited. Do you mind taking a photo of your plate, babe? Yeah. Cause yours is so good. Julius, that's the show, bro. Let's eat. Yeah. Yeah, we eating. It's time to eat. Show's over.